Turning now to the oldest and most prestigious tennis tournament underway in England, Wimbledon, and we will get to see some Canadian faces hit the courts tomorrow. For more, I am joined by Lucas Weiss, staff editor with The Athletic. Lucas, good to see you. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks so much for having me, Lindsay. So let's focus on the three Canadians that will be playing tomorrow. Who are they and what are you watching for from them? So you have Felix Ogiali, Asim, Denis Shapovalov, and Leila Fernandez. Now, the Canadians that are entering Wimbledon, they haven't come in with the best of results, only a few match wins combined between them. But that doesn't mean that they can have success at Wimbledon. Felix and Dennis had deep runs two years ago at Wimbledon. Felix making the quarters, Denis Shapovalov making the semis at the 2021 Wimbledon Championship. So I feel like even though they're not having the best of seasons, they could definitely get back to that good form. As for Layla Fernandez, this is her second ever main draw singles appearance at Wimbledon. She has a good chance to win tomorrow's match, but she has a very challenging draw with players like Jess Pagula, Carolyn Garcia in her quarter. So it's going to be challenging, but don't count out Layla Fernandez. She's quite the fighter. Okay, and so those three that you mentioned, OJ Aliasim, Shapovalov, and Fernandez, uh, those are the three playing tomorrow, but those are not the only three Canadians who will be attending. So who else from Canada will be competing in this tournament? Well, certainly 2019 U.S. Open champion Bianca Andreescu trying to get back to that form that we saw earlier this year at the Miami Open before she had to retire in her match due to an ankle injury. And the thing about Bianca is she hasn't had the best of results at Wimbledon, but if she can have a deep run, she could definitely rise up the rankings. And she's a player that no woman wants to face, just given her powerful ground strokes and her fighting mentality. You also have Rebecca Marino. Carol Zhao is making her Wimbledon main draw appearance, the Richmond Hill, Ontario native. It's great to see her finally get into the main draw. And then on the men's side, Milo Shraunic, two years since his last appearance on the ATP Tour. He's back, the former Wimbledon finalist, in the main draw. It'll be great to see that powerful serve once again. So nine Canadians in Wimbledon. It'll be interesting to see how they fare this fortnight. Definitely. Okay, so a big tournament, a uh, big deal here for tennis players. Obviously a lot of competition. You've kind of alluded to it already, Lucas, but uh, predictions on, on what could happen in this tournament. Who could win? Well, I'll start on the men's side. It's hard to bet against Novak Djokovic right now. He has 23 Grand Slam titles, the most out of any man on the ATP Tour. And I think for Djokovic, he's just hard to beat here at Wimbledon. If he were to win this Wimbledon, he'll tie Roger Federer for most Wimbledon men's singles titles. He, even though he ha didn't play any tune-up events at Wimbledon, Djokovic is the man to beat here at Wimbledon on the men's singles side. And on the women's side, I'm going to go with Iga Zviontek. Now, Iga hasn't played her best on the grass court during her career, but she's coming in with some momentum after winning the French Open. And I think her game really suits well on the grass court with her serve as well as her ground strokes. Very crafty player. So I think it's finally time to see Iga break through at Wimbledon. Unlike last year where she had a lot of pressure trying to defend a winning streak. This year, she can just focus on getting the title and etching herself into the annals of women's tennis history. We will have to see. I'm sure history will be made one way or another. Lucas, I appreciate your time today. Thanks for, thanks for chatting with us.